Hello friends, um, like I said, here is the video of uh, how I paint my German troops. Uh, this is a regular uniform from the German army and I am going to talk about the colors I use. It's from a uh, model color from Vallejo and I'm going to talk about it. Um, to start, for the helmet, I use this uh, olive grey and give um, um, a different tone of green, right? Uh, for the helmet. Now, uh, for the uniforms, for, for coats and, and the pants, I use these two colors. <clears throat> I use the German Camp Dark Green or this, the Brown Violet. These are the two I use. Uh, it's, it's like this, uh, the front Europe, uh, and today, the day. I use it like, like I want it, <laughs> just like that. Uh, now, if you have any shirts seeing, I use this, uh, the Russian uniform World War I, and give a good contrast to the uniforms. Um, in the back, we, we have the ammo, the ammo and, the, and the gas uh, bag. And I use this German grey, and I use this also. This is gun metal grey, and I give a dry brush to give a, a metallized aspect. For the boots, stripes, and belt, I use black. As simple as that. Now we have here the map back, and I use this flat earth. It is a, a nice color. And for the cantil, I use this cavalry brown. You can use another color, but I like this. This is also I use for the, the rifle. I paint it black, I paint with this, and then I use the, um, the German grey. The German grey, the gun metal grey, sorry, to metalize some spots of the rifle. You see it. I use this also, or this. Let me see where is it uh, here. This is the silver, it's a metalized color from Vallejo, model color, and I use for the insignias here. And, see, and I do a touch on some things to get better. Here the knife, you can metal grey, just like that. Now, this is the regular army of the Germans. Now we are going, I'm going to put this away and I Put here these two colors, and we are going to talk about the African corps. This is an uh, this is an officer, but basically is the the same colors of the uniforms. Uh, in African corps, there are some uniforms like this. That is why I use to to. to colors and for this I'm going to tell you one thing normally I use this to it's a surface primer 
and I, a German dark yellow. I use it for for all my vehicles of the the African corps. But this I do like a, a primer to my model, and it's a great color. You can use you can use the model color of this. I think. Let me see. Is a 17, 19, 6, 6, 8, 78, sorry, uh, dark yellow, but with this, it, it, I, I think it's look good. Then for the boots, belts, stripes, I use this, mahogany brown, it's a nice color. Like this to get uh, uh, some highlights, I use this. Wait, ah, sorry. sorry, mates. I use this brass, like you see in in the belt. This button here. I think it, it looks nice. Um, I'm going to make a video how to paint it and I'm going to explain how I paint the eyes because the, the oldest the Timias figures and other figures oldest are very difficult to paint it because the, they are no don't have many expressions and and these artists to, to paint it so I'm going to make a video of that and then I explain how I do it, alright? For today, uh, another thing, uh, there are uh, the camouflage patterns for the, for the Germans. Uh, I'm going to make a video too of that and explain and I tell the colors I use, alright? Now it's the end. Goodbye folks.